In an early December uh, 2020, FireEye, a top cybersecurity firm, says it was hacked by a nation state. And roughly about a week later, SolarWinds also reported uh, being hacked by uh, Russia. So all this hacking news actually stirred up quite a lot of the interest back to the cybersecurity stocks and create a great run up for all these cybersecurity stocks. But the thing is, uh, is the run up or is the rally actually sustainable or is it just for swing trading? Uh, how about position trading, investing, these kind of things? So in order to answer the questions, uh, I think it's best to just uh, dive into the top four uh, cybersecurity ETF such as a hack, iHack, um, Bark, etc. And I will just uh, look into some of the popular uh, cybersecurity stocks and also uh, the outperforming stocks as well in order to answer the question. Alright, so let's just get started. Let's take a look at the, the ETF. First, um, this is HACK, H-A-C-K. So I think uh, this contains uh, most of the data. It actually started in quite a number of years, 20, 20, 0, 20, 2015. So it's about five years, five and six years. So let me just uh, give you an overview for the top four ETF. So this is a uh, hack. Um, next is the iHack. So you can roughly see the price structure. Uh, for example, for iHack, it started a uh, great accumulation range in uh, last year's September and actually break out in December, probably is triggered by uh, the hacking news, forming a sign of strength rally, and it's currently in a run up. So next one, uh, let's see what about Buck. So Buck is very similar. So you can see that in the September last year, we have a uh, reaccumulation range, and in December actually have a breaking out, currently run up, pulling back, and Next one, let's take a look at the uh, CIBR. So by now, you probably uh, get a feel that the structure for all this ETF is very similar. So we have a reaccumulation range since September to about December. We have a breaking out, forming a sign of strength rally. So definitely uh, the structure is very similar. Um, let me just go back to uh, I the hack first one. So you can see that hack is also very similar. Have this kind of the reaccumulation structure followed by a breaking out, uh, backing up, and also continuation to the run up. So what I would like to do is just to get a feel of what's going on for uh, all this ETF for the cyber securities, um, because. Um, all this ETF probably they contain quite a lot of the uh, similar stocks like uh, the CrowdStrike, Alarm, uh, FireEye, etc. etc. So it's not that unusual uh, for them to have very similar structure. But some of them do contain uh, the stocks from uh, outside US. So that's uh, some of the difference be uh, between the ETF as well. So just to simplify this, I will just use hack as a, an example because I would just like to find out um, the overall trend or since the IPO right there. So we can see that there is a big accumulation range or you can see a, probably a rounding bottom forming right there since about 2015 and that range the rounding bottom actually lasted for quite some time, at least about two years. And we have seen some breakout in 2018 right there and backing up, subsequently have a good run up, but eventually have a, a pullback as a test or a backup action uh, in order to confirm uh, this rounding bottom as a accumulation structure. And subsequently, um, we see that it's kind of going into a range as well. But if we just take a look at this, so you probably can recognize that this is quite a huge structure 
or a huge accumulation or reaccumulation structure or as a backup action. So this is quite a nice run up and followed by a change of character, which actually define the trading range, trading boundary for HEC. And in last year, March, during this COVID-19 sell-off, we have seen uh, this kind of the shakeout type of the action. So it's kind of nearly uh, damaged the whole structure. But look at how quickly it can just recover itself up and it's just uh, forming a great sign of strength rally. So definitely I will just uh, take it as, as a shakeout type of the action. And let me just zoom in a bit more. So if this is a reaccumulation or a backup action for the previous accumulation range, then this shakeout type of the action actually is kind of a phase C and is actually confirmed by the sign of strength rally breaking out from this trading range as a reaccumulation range and we have seen a subsequent backup is about uh, two or three months long so this is a sign of strength rally and eventually just forming a backing up action right there from uh, last year September to about December so roughly about uh, two and three months and eventually uh, just uh, broke out and just entering into the markup phase so this is very bullish to me because not only uh, with the probably since 2015 about five years uh, strong accumulation uh, causes build so you can see that this is a causes build since uh, 2015 to about 2018 with the rounding bottom breaking out backing up this backup action actually lasted for quite some time and it's via a range of your reaccumulation range from about 2019 to 2020 so the whole year is uh, the backup action and this is phase C where we see the sign of strength rally um, kickstart and subsequently it actually back up at the higher ground so the backup action actually forming about two months so you can see that overall this has actually formed a very huge causes so with this kind of the huge causes build then definitely we can expect a lot higher uh, target price based on a point and figure projection so overall um, for the long term time frame uh, I think it's very bullish because uh, in terms of the price structure when we take this as a uh, backup action or it's simply as a reaccumulation range and this is as a sign of strength rally backing up and certainly once it's actually break out in December last year it's definitely in a a markup phase in a bull run so I think that uh, it's not only great for swing type of the trading but also a uh, position trading or simply just just investing hold it for long term so just purely based on the the price structure alone and in terms of of the volume it looks pretty healthy to me uh, at least until now, I haven't really seen a great deal of the supply came out apart from uh, this spike right there. But kind of we have this uh, reaction uh, as a follow up action. But look at the supply level is not really uh, that scary at the moment. And in fact, that is still kind of holding up a higher ground right there. So um, this is definitely a bit of the climatic run up. So whether we can just uh, forming a trading range right there or we just simply uh, entering into the markup phase. And once we have set uh, this pullback and probably another breakout back up and that probably can just continue to run to the uh, higher targets. All right. So this is uh, just my uh, deduction based on the ETF alone because it pretty much contain quite a lot of the uh, stocks uh, inside this uh, HACK ETF. So in terms of the long term, definitely is bullish. I think uh, there is a lot of the 
higher targets, uh, potential higher targets, just based on the huge courses built over the past five years. And in terms of the volume, then it's definitely uh, not not as threatening yet. Um, so far, we have a climatic run up, so a reaction is expected. And let's see if we will be entering into this kind of the trading range or simply just another continuation to the upside once it's a breakout. So right at this phase E or the marking up stage, we just need to find an opportunity to get into the position, whether it's simply just a pullback and a reversal type of the entry, something like this. So here could be a, a long entry and riding up to, to the continuation or uh, to the higher grounds. All right, so um, this is a hack ETF. Let me just get into some of the popular stocks and also some of the strong stocks, which is outperforming the market as well. CIBR, we talk about that. All right, so the first stock that I would like to look at is Net, the Cloudflare. So it's well known for anti DDoS. So that's Cloudflare. Overall, um, I think it's, it's very much a lot stronger than uh, any other stocks because we can see that uh, in this relative strength chart, it's pretty much in this kind of the upsloping and also ramping up. And just look at it's just ram up from 35 to about 85. So it's definitely a multi beggar and it's just experienced a, a pullback at the moment. So it's just kind of uh, have a change of character right there. But look at the volume, the supply level is relatively low. So definitely it's very healthy. So overall, it's, it's still very much bullish. And next one, uh, Zscaler. So Zscaler is another uh, strong performing stocks. Uh, since COVID-19 sell off in March, just take a look here. So this is February, March. So that's, that's the sell off, uh, probably around 660 to about 40. So it's pretty much just uh, a lot stronger than a market. And if you just take a look right there, um, it's just barely tested or spring this previous swing low right there. So once after this spring, it's just form a sign of strength rally with a upsloping type of the backup action and eventually just jump straight up, gapping up and starting the phase E movement. And we have another acceleration to the upside and currently it's just have a change of character. So pretty much um, whether it will just uh, consolidate like uh, very similar to the HEC ETF or it simply will just overcome the previous swing high, have a breakout, then continuation to the upside. Uh, so at this moment, we just need to find a, an opportunity to enter the trade because it's pretty much a, a simple uptrend position. So whether you will be using this kind of the up channel or just simply uh, trading this pullback reversal type of a signal. So there's plenty of the opportunity. So next one will be CrowdStrike. So CrowdStrike is another hot stock, a multi beggar since the COVID-19 sell-off. So you can see that it's pretty uh, much similar to the Zscaler. So that's the COVID-19 sell-off. Look how strong it is. So it's pretty much just have a spring uh, and have a very quick recovery and the rest is the history. So it's multi beggar from 40 now is all the way to about 223. So definitely a, a strong multi beggar. And right now uh, have a climatic run up, kind of a parabolic movement with a pullback. So definitely uh, is very similar to the Zscaler. So very bullish. Um, let's go to the next one, Okta. All right, so Okta is not as bullish as the, the previous two or three stocks, but overall you can see that it's definitely uh, performing very well uh, since 
the COVID-19 sell-off, you can see that during this sell-off, the cybersecurity stocks actually just perform very strongly. You can see that in terms of the structure, it just acted as a uh, phase C spring type of the action or accumulation on the way down and eventually just have this sign of strong rally up breaking out and with this kind of a reaccumulation range so so far it's just uh, breaking out and testing the resistance now to the support level so definitely a lot of the opportunity to get long so this is Okta, very bullish. Um, Tenable Holding, TNB. So Tenable is also another about multi bagger. So you can see that um, cybersecurity stocks actually have built up quite a huge courses. So look at the courses build. So for the Tenable, let me just zoom out a little bit more. All right. So I think the courses is. It's this whole chunk right there and we can extend all the way back to uh, the IPO session as well so that's again uh, COVID-19 sell-off actually just forming a phase C spring followed by a sign of trend rally uh, backing up action or last point of the support and also breaking out forming another backing up action so this is again uh, in September to about December, which is very similar to the ETF as well. And once it's break out, it just uh, skyrocket to, as you can see that this is a huge jump right there. So it's just skyrocket and with a pullback and currently just recover back. So again, this is a very bullish, uh, tenable. And next one, VRNS, uh, Veronis Systems. So Varunis is, uh, okay, in terms of structure, definitely, I think this portion is very similar to uh, the ETF. So uh, consolidation, while it's kind of showing uh, laggard uh, with uh, S&P 500, and now it's just outperforming uh, S&P 500 with this outperforming or sign of strength really breaking out, um, just uh, in entering into the phase E markup stage. So Again, I think many of these uh, cyber security stocks are really uh, great for swing trading because of the strong momentum behind. And in terms of uh, position trading or investing, then definitely it just have a lot of the evidence of uh, huge causes built. But even with the VRNS, we can see that there's some huge causes built from about uh, 2018, mid of 2018. And this acted as a spring as well uh, during this COVID-19 sell-off. So you can see that um, quite a lot of them are very similar in terms of the structure. So next one, Calix, C-A-L-X. So Calix is definitely a, a multi-bagger. So you can see uh, in this COVID-19 sell-off, again, is very similar. Uh, we have this kind of the routing. But uh, this is like a, a type of the shakeout, so a shakeout. So it's kind of acted as a spring action. So just as a spring of the previous uh, swing low. Once the spring is over, we see that it is actually confirmed by the sign of strength rally, backing up and marking up. So it's all the way from about six dollars to about thirty dollars, thirty-one dollars. So it's super strong stocks, Calix, but. Um, it's on the uh, probably a small cap. Um, next one, alarm, alarm.com. So again, alarm.com, um, just based on this, is definitely a, a, a rounding up or a cup and handle type of a structure forming uh, during this September consolidation. I think since October, it just consolidate. And in December, just initiate a, a breakout, pullback and an acceleration to the upside and look at the consolidation so this consolidation is just in a flag up sloping type of the uh, consolidation type of the structure is very much bullish okay so next one uh, we just left probably a few more one or two sell sell point um sell point is again uh, one of the strong stocks so you can see that 
during this COVID-19 sell-off, it kind of acted as a, an, again, as a spring. So spring followed by a test and eventually just have a run up, but quite a lot of the uh, gapping up action. And with the recent movement uh, showing climatic run up and followed by a backup action as a pullback. So again, this is very similar to the ETF uh, consolidation between uh, September to December and its breakout in December. So a lot of the great opportunity to go long. Uh, Rapid7 RPD. So again, RPD is very much similar, but in terms of the uh, overall chart, I think um, it's probably not as bullish as, as the, uh, the other that we have just uh, went through. But still, it's kind of similar with the COVID-19 cell act as a shakeout type of action, plus a spring, and eventually recover, uh, consolidate at the lower ground. So you can see that it's not as uh, strong as the rest of the stocks, but still, um, it's kind of performing very well uh, with its own structure right there. So this is a structure and during the September to December is kind of acted as a backup action and breaking out and with a serration to the upside. So another strong stocks. Uh, fire eye. Okay. So this is fire eye. So fire eye, um, is kind of quite, quite weak because we see that the other stocks are uh, actually have built up, uh, causes. But for fire eye, it's actually kind of breaking down and barely just get back up. But eventually it's still able to, uh, break out, uh, from this. Uh, huge range build up right there so in terms of the structure in September to December is pretty much uh, similar to the ETF the hack ETF so right now we have seen this sign of strength rally forming a, a flag type of the action okay okay so I think this is the last one Palo Alto Pen W so Palo Alto is uh, quite a big name and in terms of the structure, I think it's super strong. And it's kind of acted as the COVID-19 shakeout type of action and followed by a quick recovery. And eventually the September to the uh, December acted as a backup action. And with recent December breakout, it's just uh, propelled the stock into a serration to the upside. So huge courses built as well. So I definitely expect a lot uh, high target uh, for quite a lot of these stocks as well. All right. So overall, I'm very bullish uh, for the cybersecurity sector. I think that it's not only great for swing trading, but also for the position trading, for the long term position trading or the investing. So depending on your strategy, then make up your mind and find the entry and just uh, do your position sizing with the risk control as well. All right, so this is the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it and get something useful from the video. So if you'd like to increase your win rate, definitely check out the video that showed up on the screen right now. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel and also uh, just to get my weekly stock watch list update for free. So the link is in the description below. Just uh, sign up for free. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you soon.